What is up everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Ben Johnson and today we're going to be taking a look at how to clean your camera sensor. All right, as mentioned before, my name is Ben Johnson and I am a content creator based here in Atlanta. My goal with this channel is to add value to creatives through reviews, tutorials, behind the scenes content, and honest podcasts. If any of that interests you, I'd love to invite you to join the creative crew by subscribing and turning on notifications. It really goes a long way towards supporting this channel and it makes sure that you never miss out. So if you are here at this video today, chances are you probably have a dirty camera sensor. I get it, there is nothing worse than going out, capturing just amazing breathtaking shots and footage, bringing it back to the computer to start editing it, only to realize that there's all these little annoying spots on your sensor. So for today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to clean your camera sensor in order to prevent this from happening. In traditional DSLRs, cameras would have a mirror that would guard the sensor and typically you wouldn't find these sort of spots as frequently. But when it comes to mirrorless, you don't quite have that kind of luxury. I would highly recommend checking out your sensor to see if it has these spots before you go on a big important shoot. A great way to check this is to go ahead and bump your aperture very high and shoot at a very bright light. This could be a light in your ceiling, it could be the sky. Alternatively, you could also shoot at a very plain, solid wall. Once you take this image, you will then be able to see any spots, specks, dust, hair, scratches, anything like this will begin to be amplified and show up due to the high aperture. So at this point, if you don't have any spots, great, you're good to go. However, if you do notice spots, you'll wanna clean the sensor. Most mirrorless cameras, especially in the Sony system, actually have a self-clean mode. When this is activated, the camera will actually begin to vibrate the sensor in order to shake off any of that hair or dust. To do this correctly, you're gonna wanna navigate to the settings, go ahead and take off the body cap, point the camera down, and then enter the cleaning mode. This way, gravity can be your friend as the camera begins to shake, the sensor to knock off any of the unwanted particles. Once you've done this, go ahead and repeat your check test to see if there's any spots remaining. If there are, you'll wanna go ahead and move to the next step. Okay, so if you still have little spots and specks on your sensor after doing the first self-clean mode, you're going to wanna go ahead and use what is known as a blower. I highly recommend the Rocket Air Blaster by Giados. I'll put a link down in the description. So for starters, you're actually gonna wanna go ahead and repeat step one. Navigate to the settings, undo the body cap, point the camera down, and enter self-clean mode. Once the camera has done its process, you'll wanna go ahead and grab the blaster and then begin to lightly blow into the sensor area. The filtered air will then begin to hopefully knock out any of the unwanted dust or hair particles without actually making any physical contact to the sensor. Once this is done, go ahead and run your check test again, and if you still have sensor spots, you're gonna wanna then move to step number three. All right, so this is the last step in the process and it is highly effective. I personally try to put off making any contact with the sensor as much as possible, which is why we have the other steps in place first. However, sometimes it just can't be avoided and you need to give it a good detailed cleaning. In order to do this properly, you're going to wanna to pick up a sensor cleaning kit. I will go ahead and put a link in the description to my favorite one and the one that I personally use on my cameras. Note that with this particular kit, there are two models, one for full frame and one for crop sensor. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're picking the right one for your camera. Once you have the cleaning kit, you're gonna wanna go ahead and put the camera into cleaning mode. After the camera vibrates and shakes the sensor, it also locks it in place. And this is especially handy if your camera has IBIS or other forms of built-in stabilization. 
where the sensor is more free floating, it will then lock in place so that you can do a more detailed cleaning, which is what we are about to do. Your sensor cleaning kit is going to come with a specific solution for your sensor. So don't just go using any sort of cleaning solution on the sensor, that would definitely damage it. Just make sure you're using this solution. Don't use any other just swab that's laying around. Use the one that comes in the kit. It's designed for the sensor. It's the right size for the sensor, and it will make the overall process very effective and very safe for your sensor. From here, all you have to do is place a few drops of the cleaning solution onto each side of the swab. Then you will go ahead and make one smooth stroke from right to left, applying slight pressure, and then with the other side of the swab, come back left to right. And that's it. If you find yourself needing to do it again, please use another swab as these swabs are not meant to be used over and over. They are disposable and you should definitely use another one. Otherwise you may carry over some unwanted dust particles that could potentially scratch and drag across the sensor, damaging it even more. So if you find yourself needing to clean it again, make sure you throw away that original swab, grab a new one, and then you can start fresh. So the last part of the step is to go ahead and do a check test one more time. Boom, it is crystal clear, no more sensor spots. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video and were able to find some value from it. I totally get it. Cleaning your camera sensor for the first time can be super nerve wracking and super scary, but it doesn't have to be. Just simply follow the steps and you'll have a super clean sensor in no time. All right, before you guys leave, make sure to like this video, subscribe, turn on notifications, and as always, stay creative. Peace.